I bring here today um, this kind of medal, this symbol of uh, KU Leuven. Uh, for me, it's very meaningful. I, uh, I received this gift uh, from, uh, I mean, at the end of uh, the, the defense of my thesis, uh, my PhD uh, defense. And uh, wow, when I look at, the, look at those, uh, all the nice memories bring back, uh, come back, and uh, I remember how hard I work. And uh, it was very, uh, I'll say it, uh, always very emotional when I see this. I'm originally from Vietnam. I uh, graduated from uh, Hanoi University of Civil Engineering. I chose uh, water and wastewater treatment engineering for my bachelor because I was really interested in, in, uh, in water and because water is, is so important uh, for everyone now on Earth, especially for developing countries like Vietnam and other Asian countries. Uh, but uh, my dream during my, uh, my bachelor's is always to go abroad to see the world and to improve my qualifications. I decided to, uh, to go to Bantum to improve my uh, qualification by doing a master organized by VUB and KU Leuven. So uh, also for water engineering. So I decided to go further with my research by pursuing a PhD at the KU Leuven. And in 2016, I um, defended my thesis then after that, I, um, I, I thought that it was time for me to, uh, to change uh, a little bit in the direction that I would like to go further in my future career. Also in modeling, uh, then I decided to move to B6. Uh, I, I, I was not planning, honestly, to, uh, to stay here uh, longer uh, than two years, uh, honestly. I talked to my wife before I left my home country that uh, just wait for me for about uh, two years, then I would definitely come back. And uh, six months after, uh, so in March 2009, they came here uh, with me. So uh, it, was, it was not easy at the beginning, I, I would say. But now uh, I'm, uh, I love Manjum, so uh, we love Manjum. That's why we are here. After my PhD, I was planning at that time that I definitely I will go to industries to see really the real world, how things are being solved. Then, um, then I did it. Yeah, so uh, I was happy with that. And uh, I used to be uh, in some kind of uh, very difficult situations when going to the interview, everything was, was okay at the beginning. And when we came to the last round, when we, we were talking about uh, our expectation regarding uh, I mean, benefits and things like that. And then for the paper, uh, when they said, okay, um, uh, how about your papers? And I said, um, well, normally uh, when a company is one to hire us, uh, our paper will need to be arranged by, by that company. And then some companies said, oh, then um, what do you think about that? And then we re I, I received some uh, refuse letters uh, after a few days, but it was a bit pity. But I, I think at the moment now, uh, more and more companies, they, uh, they now they, they realize that uh, with the people holding uh, PhD, they, bring, uh, they would bring more added value to the companies uh, in comparison with, uh, uh, with other people uh, without PhD. Uh, the skills are to, to, that you can work independently is very important, uh, that you're persistent with your, uh, with your work and with your directions that you can be able to uh, analyze data that we do a lot during our, uh, I did a lot during my PhD, so you, uh, you must have it. And also uh, in a companies like I'm, where I'm working now, uh, teamwork is very, in, in very important. The knowledge, with the skills that you, you have gained during your PhD, to prove that uh, uh, you could do the job better, uh, I, uh, I can say that. The job that I'm, the job that I'm doing now, uh, you need to uh, to be also a bit innovative. You know, the the evolution of technology is going very, very fast. You know, you have, you must be able to uh, to be updated with the, the latest technologies uh, that that is being now developed everywhere in the world, and it can be applied in industries. And some people also ask me that, okay, uh, if, I, if I work for a company like this, you do, then I am not able to do my research, uh, do research anymore. But I said no, not 100% not uh, uh, exactly, uh, because you can spend your time, of course, you need to work for your project because you, uh, you are assigned to do your project. But next to that, you can spend also your time in writing 
attending workshops and seminars. Of course, you need to discuss with your project managers or line managers to get it approved, but you still have chance to do that. So don't think that you, if you like uh, writing paper, fine. Uh, of course, it's a matter of choice that you choose the companies where you can do that. Uh, hint panic, don't, don't worry. Uh, when you are uh, coming from uh, an academic environment to industries, it's all not always easy at the beginning. But with the knowledge and skills that you have, I'm 100% sure that you can adapt yourself quite quickly. You can propose uh, also nice uh, solutions, ideas to help the company.